Hi, I'm Yashika. I'm 11 years old and I'm one of this year's Feast Girls competition winners. Hi, my name's Eva and I'm 14 years old and I'm one of the winners for this year's Fierce Girls competition. Fierce Girls is a podcast which represents women or girls in Australia that have done wonderful things or helped other girls. Kathy Freeman, Australia. She leapt as the gun burst. Everyone was on her side. This season of Fierce Girls was a competition season. It was all over Australia. People would send in who they wanted to write about and who they thought was really inspirational. And then 10 people would be chosen and they would get to record it in the studios and it would be added to the Fierce Girls podcast. For my Fierce Girls story, I picked Marita Cheng. Marita started a company called Robo Girls and it actually helps girls around Australia and all around the world to get into engineering and robotics and to let their like inner engineer run wild. Rover Girls has gone so popular that Marita is chosen to be one of the finalists in Young Australian of the Year in 2012. I picked Chloe Hayden. I'm autistic. She's an actor, author and advocate. Being most popular of anything is light years away from how life used to be for her. She advocates for more representation in the media, to have actors who are neurodivergent and to actually have them playing the neurodivergent characters instead of people who aren't, which is a really important thing so people can actually see that there are people like them. And if they don't love every single part of you and their love is conditional, you do not want that person anyway. Drop them like a hot potato. So true, Queen. <laughs> I'd just gotten home from school and my mum told me and I couldn't believe it. I really didn't think I was going to win, but I was so excited that I got to record my own podcast. How I reacted was I was actually having a really bad day at school and, and I was just really stressed out. And then as soon as I came into the car, my dad was like, guess what? And then I'm like, what? And he's like, you got selected. I'm like, for what? And he's like, for the Fierce Girls competition. I'm like, wait, really? I was like so excited. And I kept on like dreaming after that, how I'm gonna start recording it. And if I can actually m meet Marita one day, I was like so excited. The most popular of anything. I found the podcast recording process really fun. <laughs> Cause I had to record it a lot of times to make sure I just said it the right way and the clearest way and the best way for the listener to hear it. Marita is it? It took a while since I had a sore throat that day, but it was actually like really fun. The producer I was with, she told me not to be scared, to be confident. Cause if you're confident, then the emotion will just come in naturally. My podcast will be released on the International Day of the Girl which makes me really excited because it's such a big day and I'm really excited to hear it for the first time. My producer, she told me that Marita had listened to my podcast, so I was really happy. I felt really excited and over the moon and more inspired. Uh, it got me inspired to write like more stories and enter into more competitions.